Hello, hey, what's up guys? This is Joyce and Christo from JC Vlogs. This video is about uh, cleaning Cisco Linksys E900. Uh, I just want to check it out my uh, Wi-Fi router. Uh, it's got a lot of dirt inside. I just want to clean up those things. First time I just going to uh, completely disassemble and reassemble those things after cleaning. And this video is completely for you. First of all, we have to remove the uh, seal, sealing over there on top of the screw. We have totally three screws. One is over here, another one and behind this one, and the third one is over here. So we have removed one seal. So I'll remove the second seal right away. Okay. And this one is for the third seal. So here you have to just pinch a little bit and you have to remove it. So you can see over here, there's one screw over here, and here, and here. guys and one more important stuff which we have to notice if you remove this one the warranty it will be void you can't claim warranty anymore so make sure you are not under any warranty and there's a seal it's it will be available over here which should be removed before you opening this so since i already removed the sticker um, you can check it out from your modem Sorry about the nail guys, I have to cut it off. Okay, um, we removed all three screws. Right now we have to remove this top body cover. Okay, all right, here we're gonna open it up uh, with a kind of a credit card or some card. Mm, and we have to use some of this kind of tool um okay okay it's similar like a sharp edge like a minus screwdriver i'll show you how to open those things all right i'm just inserting a little bit to make some space okay here I got a space over here from here I'm just gonna insert this card okay there's a snap sound is there that's what we have to identify it's getting open up okay don't don't get too hard on it it may get break okay i think we're almost there So here you can see that knob, yes, that's what we should not damage that one. Once we damage it, then it is very tough to reassemble it again.
Okay. Done. All right. So I would like to open this way. Okay. So this is the top cover. Um, this one is the bottom one. So here we have this complete circuit, and this is how this Wi-Fi router is working. And we have this four additional port, and this is where we used to connect the internet, and our refresh, and uh, this is the power that which we used to provide this uh, 12 volt DC power from the adapter. So here we're getting the power to the whole circuit. And this is the antenna. So this shield, this shield, it's how it's, I think it's visible right now. Okay. Okay, fine. This shield work as like a antenna uh, signal transmitter. So this provide, if this one is damaged, you will not get a, get the full strength of uh, Wi-Fi. So this is how this signal strength getting increase based upon this shield. If we can able to hack it and reroute it, or we can we can also able to put it in a different way. Mm, we can arrange an like ex external antenna by resoldering this one and putting a hole over hole over here, and we can put some extra additional antenna which can increase your strength of your Wi-Fi to an extreme level but th those things are like uh, latest point of stage we can try it out right now we have to just clean up things and we have to reassemble this stuff that's it what we're gonna do but definitely one day i'm definitely gonna give you how to have this wi-fi router in a different way to increase the uh, antenna strength like a booster kind of stuff so let's clean this stuff so i'm just generally using a normal like a hair color brush just gently rub it out it been cleaned since last two years i believe so maybe yeah three years so it's already out of warranty Okay, almost done. Let's see if we can remove this. Do you want me to try? Is it necessary? Okay. I don't find any issues right now, so I think it is not necessary to remove this panel. But in future, definitely we have to remove these things and clean it up but if in this kind of scenario if you want to clean these things try to use blower don't mess up with your wi-fi router because once it get damaged you can't able to replace it you have to all the way you have to get it new and i'm not so genius on technical wise in order to replace this wi-fi routers or troubleshooting all right then so this is how dismantle works and since I did first time, it was so difficult to me. But once I, I think I understand this technology, how it works. And hereafter, I think I can easily snap it out and open it wisely. Also, guys, this is not only works for Cisco, Linksys 3900, but also it works for any of the version comes with E300 or E1200. So it works for most of this Cisco routers. So if you have any doubt or if you need any other information or if you want to remove any other router, just uh, put, put it in comment so I can able to try to find some something whichever you're looking for and it'll definitely help you out. So that's it guys. I think uh, dismantle is completely, completely done and I have done my cleaning work. I think this is more than enough and I don't find much dust since last three years this is good i think so 
So everything is fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna reassemble it. I think it's pretty much easy, right? Just click it, remove three screws, snap it out and remove this from the lock. So these are the three screw parts and these are we called as like a guardy. So this is where it used to hold this lock. You, ha you should not break all this knob so that it will be difficult to replace it. So I'm going to lock it again. See, here it stays, the locks. So hope you all understand how it locks and opens. So it's really tough guys to open it. So I think it is now pretty much fine and good. I'm just, I'm just going to lock it again. Make sure you're not damaging any of these things. See, I just want to first of all lock it from antenna side because I don't want to mess with the antenna. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just trying to start from here. Okay. 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 So this is how it looks once you keep it exactly on the exact uh, shape on the uh, required column so once this is done all you have to do is just click it you have to hear this noise click sound make sure you're just covering all the directions see this is the final one that's it see make sure there is no gap surrounding okay see there should be no space over here 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 and finally here okay then so I think we perfectly fixed this thing so what we have to do, do next I think we are not yet done we have to fix all these three screws on the respective places recommend you to just give a little tight don't tight it completely I'll tell you why just four round on the third screw not only in this equipment on most of your all equipments you should not give a complete tight I'll tell you why because when you give a complete tight in one place the rest of the two places will be like uneven threads so when you're tightening up definitely the thread will da get damaged or uh, it will be like go in a wrong threading so it will be too tight once you give a force tight uh, force tightening then it will be very difficult to uh, replace it again so always what you have to do you have to evenly tight all the screws in all opposite directions not only to this to all the equipments it applies to all toy cars and any other electrical equipments whatever it comes even to mobile phones if you are screwing up so I completely tighten the screw yes um, getting slipped off so I think completely fixed it so is it done I believe it's not yet what I have to do so see here we have uh, this knob this looks like something like a lego game <laughs> okay that's what we're gonna do we have to fix this on this that's it is it the, is it done yes yes that's it guys it perfectly fit over here um, next we have to lock the screw with this sticker 
this is a kind of one side sticker the other side it have a rubber bush so i think it will make it uh, somewhat above the level of floor so air flow will be there and it will reduce the heat also and i always recommend you people not to cover this modem with okay guys done okay see we fixed all those things everything is done okay fine so how to maintain just maintain as it is in a open air don't cover with any other cloth or uh, don't try to uh, cover anything at bottom or any cloth items or anything so try to expose as as much air in air that will be most for helpful for you to avoid from heat that's it guys um if you have any doubt or if you need any clarity please put that in comment so i can able to help you in future uh, for more videos please like and subscribe thanks